Dr. Stephen Cassavy. I'm a thoracic surgeon at the Mayo Clinic. I'm going to talk to you today about achalasia. It's a disorder of swallowing that uh, affects about 1 in 100,000 people. Swallowing, to understand achalasia, I think first we need to understand the, the science of swallowing. Swallowing occurs in a simplified fashion in two phases. The oral phase, which means the moving of food uh, to the back of the throat, which is under voluntary control. When that happens, it initiates a number of uh, reflex activity in the rest of the swallowing complex. In other words, when we move food to the back of our throat, it opens up the doorway between the mouth and the esophagus, or the swallowing tube. And it also reflexively opens up the doorway between the esophagus and the stomach, lower down. It also begins peristaltic activity, in other words, a conveyor belt motion of the esophagus to move that food actively down. It's not just by gravity that the food moves. So when we swallow, we initiate all these activities in a normal situation. One of the most important parts of that is the reflexive opening of the lower esophageal sphincter, that doorway between the esophagus and the stomach. It's normally kept fairly closed in order to provide us with some protection against reflux, the gastroesophageal reflux, the reflux of contents in the stomach back up into the esophagus which can be injurious and is a whole other different topic. For patients with achalasia, they have an inflammatory degeneration of nerves in the wall of the esophagus. The cause of this is still unknown and whether it's an autoimmune disorder or a viral, uh, cause of a viral infection that's happened, we don't yet know. But what we do know is that it affects both the conveyor belt action or the active peristalsis of food going down into the stomach, as well as the reflex opening of that doorway between the esophagus and the stomach. So that food has a hard time getting down, and then when it gets down to the bottom of the esophagus, there's a large speed bump or obstruction to getting into the, the stomach. This causes patients to have problems with swallowing and over time the esophagus becomes dilated because it can't push the food into the stomach as it normally does. 